Hi, what I'm going to be doing today is a simple algebra one topic, something called the distributive property. The distributive property um, is a really common sense property. Let's look at a simple example. 14 times 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. Okay? I know you learned this at a much younger age. And now we're going to look at 14 again, times 2. And I'm going to look at this as the 1's column. And this is the 10's column. 2 times 4 is 8. And 2 times 10 is 20. And 20 plus 8 is 28. Well, if I want, I can, I can look at this as 14 as 10 plus 4 times 2. Because ultimately, that's what the distributive property is. I'm distributing the 2 to the 4, which is the 1s, and the 10s. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 10 is 20. 20 plus 8 is 28. And if I want, the same way I distribute the 2 to the 4 and the 2 to the 10, like I did here, like I did here, and what I did growing up, I can say 2 times 10 plus 4 is 2 times 10 is 20, 2 times 10 is 20, plus 2 times 4 is 8, and we're left with 28. Well, let's pretend I didn't have 10. Let's say I said we had x. So I can say 2 times x plus 4. It doesn't change. 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times 4 is 8. So 2x plus 4 equals 2x plus 8. Now we're finished. And from there we get progressively more difficult. What happens if I gave you something like this now? 3 times 2x minus 5y. Do you think the rules change? No, they don't. It just looks different. 3 times 2x is 6x. And 3 times negative 5y is negative 15y. Let's say some of you don't like the rules and you're having a little bit of a tougher time understanding this. And that's okay. Sometimes a visual way of understanding it may help. So that's what I'm going to do next. Let's start off with, we know, we already did 2 times 10 plus 4. We already did that. But let me look at this as though we're looking at the area. So if I want to find this is 2 and the area of this is 14, the length of that is 14, I know the area is 28. Well, let's take that second same logic another step. Can I say, if that's 2, this is 14. Can I say from here to here is 10? And from here to here is 4? Sure I can. 2 times 10 is 20, and 2 times 4 is 8. So the total area is 28. Let's do the same thing again. What happens if I would say instead of 14, it's x plus 4 and 2? Well, the area of this is 2x. The area of this is 2 times 4 is 8. 2x plus 8. And that's all to it. Now I get fancy. Now I go a little more difficult. I work from there. What happens if I would say this is 5 and this is 3x plus 7y? Well, the area of that is 15x. The area of this is 35y. The rules don't 
change. The process is the same, it just looks more complicated. We'll do it one more time. If this is 3x plus 7y, let's pretend this is x. x times 3x is 3x squared. x times 7y is 7xy. So the answer will be 3x squared plus 7xy. Can you simplify it? No, not now. That's your answer. Thank you and have a great day.